Oh, here we have Poppy. Hello, Poppy. Yes, she's a good girl. And these are her puppies. They're now three days old. It's Friday morning and they were born uh, early hours of Tuesday morning through until about midday on Tuesday. She's had seven in total. Uh, she's obviously a black and white speckled Cocker Spaniel. And Dad, yes, hello. Dad is our pet toy party poodle. We've had seven puppies and they are all black and white. Uh, one's pure white at the moment, but obviously we can't be certain she's going to stay pure white. Some of the grey or black may come out over the next uh, few weeks. They're all a pretty good even size. And she's turned into a really, really attentive and caring mum. She's doing a fantastic job looking after them. She spent the first 48 hours basically in her basket, just coming out very occasionally to toilet and to feed. And today was the first day we took her out on a walk this morning. She was showing signs she was getting a bit cabin fever really and wanted to get a bit of exercise. So she left them for about 20 minutes, came on the walk with uh, our other three dogs. Uh, we fed her with the other dogs and then she's come straight back into the puppies and settled down. They were all nice and asleep. She's woken them up and is now feeding them and cleaning them up. We've got one boy and six girls in this litter and they're all a pretty even size. The boy's obviously showing some signs of growing a little faster than the girls already. You can see he's almost a size up on them. But they're all pretty even size of hamsters. Nice and furry and warm in their nest. She's keeping them very clean and they're suckling really well. The milk's come in beautifully and they all seem to be growing well. Here you go, look, looking for a nipple that one, trying to get some milk. Big pile of squirming puppies under there. So what we're going to do is film these for you over the next six to eight weeks. So we'll do a series of videos showing how they're coming on and how they're growing. They do very little at this stage, obviously. You don't want to do anything to disturb the, the bitch and the nest. They basically feed and then sleep. Feed and sleep, feed and sleep constantly. But she's turning into a really good caring mum, looking after them really well. So there you go, that's the first video of the puppies in their nest with mum at three days old. Well, here we are on day five. These puppies were born on the early hours of Tuesday morning, um, up until about Tuesday lunchtime. We're now on Sunday lunchtime. Mum's just out having her uh, lunch at the moment, so I thought I'd take the opportunity of showing you the puppies again a little bit more clearly now. All very happily fed this morning, and now all just piled under the heat lamp, having a lovely sleep. And this shows the markings on the puppies quite nicely. Um, I think we told you in the first video, Dad's a, a party toy poodle with the classic black and white markings. And mum's a black and white roan cocker spaniel. So these puppies have all come out with mum and dad's classic markings. They are one one of them is pure white, not showing any signs of uh, any black patches at the moment. You can just see her third from the top. And the only boy is almost all white with uh, black spots on his tail and black ears. So we're still Got the litter of seven puppies, six girls and one boy. They are all thriving, I'm happy to say. All growing nice and evenly. Whoa, it's gonna wake somebody up. And mum's doing really well. She's absolutely ravenous feeding this lot already. They're only on day five, we've upped her feed so that she's being fed almost on demand. Uh, we're making feeds up with a high quality dry kibble feed mixed in and made very moist and watery with homemade stock made from boiled beef bones and uh, chicken carcasses. So we're using that to supplement the calories that she's getting from the uh, concentrated feed. She's having morning and uh, tea time feeds with the rest of the pack 
uh, with a, a working kibble, uh, which is a high protein, high energy kibble. And then in between feeds, we're actually giving her a, a puppy kibble, uh, which they recommend is ideal for supplementing her uh, calorie requirements and the nutrients. It's got more calcium and things in. And that's also being made up with the, uh, the stock mix to help keep the fat and weight on her and keep her milk in. And she seems to be loving that and doing really well. And this lot are doing absolutely fantastically. So there you have it. Our litter of seven party cockapoo puppies now on day five of their lives. Well, we're now on uh, day 14. These puppies are now two weeks old. Mum's just been up for a morning feed. It's about half past seven in the morning. And we've just changed the puppy's bed so they're on a nice clean bedding and brought mum back into them. So she's just waking them up and they're all going to the milk bar. They still haven't opened uh, their eyes. They're only two weeks old this morning. They have probably increased in weight about threefold and they are now really a lot more vigorous and very active, very determined once they sense mum in a comes into the whelping crate. They're straight over to her. Whether they smell or hear her, I'm sure they're starting to hear things now. Uh, over the next week or so, we'll see their eyes open and then they'll become uh, little puppies, proper little puppies that are running around and playing and wanting entertaining. But at the moment, mum's spending decreasing times actually in the whelping crate with them and leaving them still under the heat lamp to, uh, to sleep for long periods. She's actually taking during the evening because we've been leaving the heating on overnight to keep this room warm. Uh, sleeping outside the whelping crate on the, the mat by the back door where she's cooler. She's more akin to uh, being in a quite cool utility room overnight in a, a bed just with a blanket. So I think she's finding it too hot. Combination of the puppies and the heat lamp. And probably if she sleeps in with them she's finding it quite annoying now because they probably won't be leaving her alone. You can see how vigorous they are at feeding. All finding a nipple, and then one here completely on its back with a white one. You can just see its leg sticking up, lying on its back, suckling. I don't think we'll be able to see it actually on the nipple. That one, maybe if I bring the camera around next to it, and then others are approaching from the front. Oops, all enjoying their morning breakfast. She's eating a massive quantity now to keep her milk in, in a condition we're having to feed Poppy probably five or six times a day. The volume in terms of what she's actually uh, taking in is probably three to four fold what she would normally eat even when she was pregnant. We're still only feeding her twice a day with a little bit of supplementation. Um, she's having a combination of puppy food mixed with uh, beef stock and chicken stock and turkey. And uh, she's also having some of a working dog mix when the other uh, dogs are fed twice a day. So she'll, she'll eat with them after she's been walked. Well, she's looking quite good, not getting fat, not getting over skinny. She's actually managing to keep the weight on quite nicely despite the growth that we've seen on these puppies. And that little one has come off and he's desperately trying to find where the milk bar is again, aren't you? Look, where'd it go? Really, look, see how active they are and how much more mobile they are. Yeah, you are there nicely, aren't you? Really enjoying yourself. They've got little claws in their paws now that are really quite sharp, so sooner or later she's not going to be amused by the the pouring that naturally goes on to, to feed the milk through. That's going to start making her a little sore, but at the moment she's still being really tolerant with them and is quite happy just to let them find their nipple and suckle until they fall asleep. And at that stage she's washing them cleaning them, they'll have a poo and a pee. She'll clean most of that up still. Although we have noticed the volume that's coming out of them, she's not keeping quite on top of it to the same degree she was a week ago. So we're having to change the bedding pretty regularly now to keep them nice and clean, but she's doing a marvellous job. So there we go, everybody through and growing nicely up to day 14. The yeah, the puppies are three weeks old today. Uh, Mum's just outside, she's had her tea and she's, we're just taking the opportunity to change the puppy's bed. Oh, Mum's back. She wasn't out for long. Um, we're finding we're having to change their bed 
every day really at the moment. Mum's keeping the puppies lovely and clean but the bed does get mucky and so needs washing. So we're now we're going to take the puppies, put them in a box and then take the dirty bed out and put the clean bed in. So it's a lot easier to do if Mum's not in the room. Oh, Decided she's going to give him a clean up while we're doing it. Okay, we're nearly there. One more puppy to go. Okay, right, the puppies are now in the box. The puppy's keeping a close eye on them. So we're going to take the old bed out. Now we need to just clean the welcome crate with a bit of um, kitchen roll and a damp kitchen roll. Just because we find this dust and a bit of dirt accumulates in the base of the crate. This crate's been really good by. We got it online on eBay and it's, the great thing about it is it's washable. You can wipe it out because it's made of plastic. It's quite robust and rigid and it's, it's been very good. We've had to turn it around today as one of the puppies managed to actually jump out of it. They're getting so, so active now. As you can see in this box, in a box full of squirming puppies trying to climb out. But we're hoping that because we've turned the crate down so that the entrance is now against this box, hopefully we'll be able to keep them in the crate for another couple of days at least. <laughs> the crate's very good because it means that um, Poppy can jump in and out, but the puppies stay put, which suits Poppy very well. She's just checking out, nice clean bed. Okay, Pops, put, put here the puppies back in with her. Yes, and she'll check him over. Ooh, stop. Okay, and then we'll go straight back to feed. Patch. We've nicknamed them just so we can identify Who's them. That one? Is that the boy? It's a little boy. Yes, it is. What's his name? Ted. That one's Tilly. That's his Tilly. She's been named already mm. by the new owner. And we got Flash. This one we've nicknamed Flash. A little Flash of white. So we can identify so we can it because it's got a little flash on its head. And this one. What's that one's name? Oh, Speckle, because there's a speckle. couple of black speckles on its back, similar yeah. to its mum. There we go. Go back. Yes. Okay, Happy now. So, Poppy, stay with them. Oh, I think she's coming out. Oops. <laughs> Oh dear, puppies, come on, they want you back in there. Okay, we might have to leave her to it. Oh, she, oh, what's she doing? She's taking the kitchen now. Thank you. Oh, Poppy never likes it when we change the bed. She prefers the dirty bed because it smells of the puppies. Um, but she's getting used to the idea of having it changed every day. And we find she settles down again quite quickly. Anyway, we'll... Settle her back into the crate now with the pups. Okay, good morning. Um, it's 7 a.m. The puppies are now 27 days old today, so they'll be four weeks old tomorrow. They've had quite a busy weekend, lots of visitors have been to see them, which has been really good for them. Uh, they've had lots of socialisation. Um, we've noticed a big change in them actually over the weekend. They get, they're, they're really enjoying the attention, and some of them rolling on their backs and letting them people tickle their tummies, which has been really cute. And they've met children this weekend, which has been lovely for them. Um, they're really getting the hang of eating their sort of liquid puppy food. Uh, Mike, I think they've eaten all that actually. Is the bell still some no, yeah, This one is feeling it would like some. <laughs> Come in a minute. Come you can see they're all growing really nicely. And they have taken to the solid food, or the semi, it's semi solid food, it's more a consistency of very runny porridge. Um, the bigger puppies have probably had it, the mum's just gone out to the toilet, and the bigger puppies have probably had a good feed off mum, so they may not be as interested. Uh, but they were making quite a lot of noise, and they seemed to want our attention, so we thought it was worth offering them a feed, and they seem to be enjoying it very much. We've got a bit more to give them. We have got a, a, a nice big bowl for them. The thing is, it's so big, and the puppies are still fairly small. I think it's actually going to be too big until they've bit, uh, grown a bit. They've started to establish a bit of a pecking order in the last day or two. And they're still sorting it out. 
haven't yet worked out who's at the top. I'm going to put a bit more in. I think the bowl's almost empty. Yeah. Tilly's so having a lovely feed. Quite a few of the puppies oh, now have got names. There we go. You're in the video now, Mike. Right? Sorry. <laughs> I've got my finger time. over the camera. It's easily done. At least I've got the uh, video, the, cam the phone the right way up today. Okay, the other dogs are thinking, asking to come in. Has everybody had some? Okay, I think we're losing to it there because I'm ready for my cup of tea. 